Welcome back to URM Academy. If you are a rock or metal producer, this is your home on YouTube. Today's clip is from Jacob Hansen's fast track called Mixing Orchestration with Metal. That fast track is available to all URM enhanced members along with I think like 25 others. It's like 100 hours of education in total. These fast tracks are where we go like super deep into one particular topic under the heading of mixing. Like I said, there's over 100 hours available. You get instant access to all of them when you join URM Enhanced. And in this clip, which is just one section of Jacob's fast track, he talks about how to mix a horn section in the context of a metal song. And as he talks about in the fast track, the tough part with mixing orchestration and metal is that most of us don't really know where to start. So what a lot of people end up doing is just high passing everything, which kind of works. But on the other hand, you also lose a lot of what makes the instrumentation special. And in this clip, he talks about another way of doing it, a way that's a little bit more thoughtful and strategic. It still kind of keeps the orchestration out of the way of the rest of the mix and vice versa, but enables you to keep a lot more of the good stuff that makes the orchestration sound like, well, orchestration. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So for brass and horn sections, um, I think they can sound really full. It's a, it's an instrument or it's instruments that where you can actually really bring it forward. It can have a lot of high end in it. I think you can um, you can do long sustained notes and you can put on some reverb or tons of reverb actually sometimes. Uh, because this is not an instrument that's going to play, normally, anyway, it's not an instrument that's going to play a lot of, of uh, staccato notes. It's normally going to be long, held out notes. I needed to open up another song for this because there were no horn, horns in, in Sugar, that other song that we were working on. So here's another song where there are horns from Flesh God Apocalypse. Let's listen to what we have here. You know, they, again, these just sound really good already. The room is very, very nice and, and it sounds very real, I think. But I can still, I'd like to make those really forward again. I can even, you know, they can take some high end here, some high end EQ. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that emphasizes the, the brassy feeling there. Let's listen to what we have here, tuba and trombone, bass trombone. Let's listen. That can probably also take some high end. Let's listen to the two when they've been processed. Really nice. So what you saw me doing was that I did the processing on the track itself because I only have two tracks here. Really, I could have put it on, on a bus and done the processing there, but they had a slightly different lift. And uh, when it's only two tracks, I might not need a, to put them on a bus. And uh, we should hear how it sounds in the mix. Let's do that.
Yeah, very cool. So this really adds some some aggression to the riff and to the intro. This this brassy sound that that's really it's making the whole thing sound really angry, and it's 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 making it sound powerful and epic, totally. In the next video, I'll show you some less than ideal samples. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that clip. Again, that's just one part of Jacob Hansen's mixing orchestration with Metal Fast Track, and that Fast Track is just one of the over 25 that are available to all members of URM Enhanced. It's over 100 hours of education, and you get instant access to all of them when you join URM Enhanced. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just hit that link in the description, and you will get every single one of those Fast Tracks delivered straight to your members' dashboard.